health and wellness news in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month. We're hearing from experts and advocates about the importance of talking to your loved ones who may be struggling. So ABC 4's Kayla Baggerly has more on how these conversations can make a difference. Both experts and advocates say that mental health awareness is so important so people know it's okay to talk about and to reach out and get the help they need. They say that it's something no one should have to go through alone. When we keep this in the darkness, it it doesn't get the attention it needs and, and people feel like they're alone in their feelings. Brandy Vega is the founder of Good Deed Revolution and Promise to Live. Mental health awareness is very dear to her as she almost lost a child to suicide. She says after being given a second chance, she wants to do what she can to help others. When people feel like it's okay to acknowledge it, address it, bring it to the light and get help, then we can start to find some of these solutions and also talk about it. Kristen Francis with the Huntsman Mental Health Institute says mental health disorders like anxiety or depression are serious conditions and you should know it's okay to ask for help the same way you would with a broken arm or physical condition. And shame is really what we're trying to get away from because shame stops people from getting help. Francis says the signs that someone may be dealing with mental health struggles are if they start to act different, have reckless behavior or seem irritable or withdrawn. She says it's important to open the door on conversations about mental health, especially for parents to be transparent and vulnerable and let their children know they can talk about it ahead of time. Our young people visited the ER more in the past year than they did in the years previous. Um, the suicide rate has increased um, and rates of depression and anxiety have increased. Vega says this month and any time in the year, reach out to those around you and let them know you're there for them. There's easy things you can do that just say, hey, how are you doing? How's your mental health? How are you holding up? Are you feeling safe? Just listening and, and asking those questions will give you a lot of insight. Experts recommend resources like the 988 number and SafeUT app if you need to reach out to someone. Reporting from Salt Lake City, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News.